Welcome. What I have here is 2 thirds times C minus 18 equals 7. So automatically when I see the parentheses, I want to take a look and see, you know, using my order of operations, can I simplify the left side at all? And I have C minus 18. Those are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. So the next thing I think about is distributive property. Can I apply the distributive property in this case? And again, I have 2 thirds times C minus 18. So yes, of course. So 2 thirds times C is 2 thirds C. And then 2 thirds times negative 18. Well, let's just do it. Let's just write it out. So then I have a positive 2 thirds times a negative 18. Now, negative 18, we can rewrite as negative 18 over 1. So, at, so it's written in fractional form, equals 7. So 2 thirds times c is just going to be 2 thirds times c. 2 thirds times negative 18, you can just multiply across. 2 times negative 18 is negative 36. 3 times 1 is 1. Negative 36 divided by 3 is going to give me a negative 12 uh, equals 7. So now I'm going to be using my two-step problems or two-step equation. So what I'm going to do, look up here, is say, all right, now I need to undo what's happening to my variable. So the first thing's happening to my variable is it's being multiplied by 2 thirds, and it's also being subtracted by 12. So I need to make sure I undo addition and subtraction first. I feel like I got to sneeze out here. I'll try to keep this going. So subtracting by 12, to undo that, I'm going to add a 12 onto both sides. Therefore, I'll have 2 thirds C equals 7 plus 12 is 19. Then the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I have 2 thirds times C equals 19. So now I need to undo multiplying by 2 thirds. So I could divide by 2 thirds, but I also showed you guys in the one-step equations and to, there's another way you can do it by to get rid of the two thirds. Obviously, you could divide by two thirds, right, on both sides, and that's going to eliminate. That's going to make the two thirds divide by two thirds to one, which is going to leave your variable on by itself. You can also just multiply by the reciprocal because two thirds times three halves is going to equal one. So you're left with C, and make sure you multiply on both sides. So you have C is going to have equal 19 over one times 3 halves. So you see 19 times 3. Well, 19 um, times 2 is going to be 38. And then you're going to add it one more time. It's going to be 57 divided by 2. Now, you can see that that's not going to uh, um, leave you a even number. So I just leave it as a fractional form. However, if it's something that you're like, oh, you know, I want to see exactly what it is. You can obviously uh, always leave it as decimal form. So I have uh, 28.5 would, uh, would be the fractional form for that. So there you go. That's how you solve the problem. Thanks.